Hi, how y'all doing? Uh, for whom America the beautiful? Spacious skies merely mock the blackbird with crippled wing. We slice the blackbird's throat, ask her why she does not sing. No one remembers there was no head start, no exposure to art of the wrong class, of the wrong cast, placed on the lower track at six years young, ain't recovered since. We ask the blackbird why she will not fly while the law walking off with her wings. So savage, these only see equality in 63 black and white dreams. Is it so savage to dream at last free in technicolor prism tinged in the right to be? Is it so savage to dream at last free? To dream at last free, to dream at last. Free at last. Free at last. My name is Bamuti. I sometimes, thanks. I, um, thanks. Uh, welcome to your Babuena Center for the Arts. Uh, I sometimes make poems, <clears throat> um, small ones for my kids. I sometimes make um, uh, bigger poems, like long ones for um, places like this. Um, but lately I've been thinking a lot, um, not so much about um, the experience of being on stage, but the experience of being in the audience, like um, maybe right after a show when you've just seen Prince, you know what I mean? Or like some kids from the local Y, or some um, MacArthur winning choreographer from Beijing. You're crazy inspired and you're in the proximity of a community who's similarly inspired and then what? Like what? I imagine us post-show in our own urban Waldens, displaced from the urgent now by some disturbing image or some beautiful sound or some contemplative word. I imagine us altered. I imagine us as altered DNA chains, the code for what makes us human spliced through the filter of having witnessed some piece of art, some small reflection of the aesthetic sublime, walking through the world in silhouette, alone, somehow more empowered by an art moment and still disconnected from it, from the manufacture of a world that we want to make. So please know that we here at YBCA are in it for the sublime. And also, we're in it to wonder and to um, ask of you, how can we use the brilliant art and artists in our midst to work towards a social ambition that is much more about generation and creativity than analysis and critique. And as such, we believe that the times are both too fertile and too ripe to allay our privilege to the sanctity of the quiet hour. The times beg us to be more than a harbor for content. They suggest that we use our cultural agency to impel, not just report. So at Yerba Buena Center for the Arts, I am one of a group of collaborators that thinks about taking that moment of inspiration, um, that community of activated folks, and transposing them in time to a year before the show. My work with my team is to identify creative communities and cultivate them based not on an artist's presentation of an idea, but at the root of the inquiry that inspired the art itself. Our job here is to make social incubators for creative change. Um, I want you for a moment to consider the life cycle of a question to think of a creative inquiry as you would think of a seed. 
Think of a question as a building block of urban architecture nurtured by an artist from idea to civic blossom. Most creative inquiries in our contemporary environment meet an economic or social or technological end. The draft of our musings are so often informed by the market-driven incubators that harbor them. As such, the life cycle of a creative question tends to end in a consumable product molded in the form that a parent company needs to sustain or advance its market share. But consider the life cycle of a question as nurtured by a cultural incubator a resourced, networked institution that provides safe and provocative harbor for leading edge creative souls to guide a question from nascent form to public impact. YBCA asks itself, can we, as an institution, design a social practice built on the instigations of a curated few? Can we manage the life cycle of an idea beyond an ecosystem of creative individuals to respond to that idea, build one, um, nurture those responses with artistic interactions, and then harvest the results in the forms of public policy? Consider the life cycle of a law. Imagine it cynically and insinuate that few ideas become law nowadays without first being tampered with by moneyed interests. That said, perhaps the only thing more powerful than private funds is public will. When YBCA describes its mission as generating culture that moves people, the bet that we're making is that we can activate how art influences the public imagination, that we can design a process whereby highly dynamic inquiry spawns culture and culture precedes policy. You know, I meet people who think um, that the phrase creative action is a cop out. You know, like you add the word creative to anything and it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. That action, um, you know, creative action is just slightly better than artistic action. Artistic action, which might be the greatest oxymoron of our time, action is behavior, they say. Behavior isn't driven by art, it's driven by ambition. We act in aspiration of love. Behavior is driven by the intention to grasp something like wealth or protect something like family. Art is not in and of itself an ambition. Art might frame behavior like a soundtrack for life, but it doesn't drive behavior. And some of that is true. But what's also true is that art anticipates and predicts behavior. The best art is code for what will eventually be normal. It is the edge of reasoning unencumbered by the urge to replicate or scale. As ideas, the best art, I think, ultimately gets replicated as common consciousness, and in some cases gets scaled at law. So, today, our YBCA 100, it's a reflection that yes, we as an art center can bring together activists and philanthropists and artists, technologists, humanitarians. Um, but who we curate for our stages is based on the belief that the burning questions these people are asking are the fertile ground for the world that we want to make. We are inviting our multiple publics to refine the questions of these instigators to essentialize them down to digestible and publicly actionable components to join us in our building and around our region in a shared exercise of uh, art-framed civic progress. YBCA reimagines itself as activist citizen, thinks of its brick and mortar home as public square for debate and aspiration, and chooses some of the most inspired among us to use their questions like stars over an ocean of possibility, setting our course of discovery toward a brave and compassionate future. Welcome all uh, to our first public square, our first YBCA uh, 100. 
Um, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Um, so um, over the course of the afternoon, we're going to hear from a number of our honorees, a number of honored guests um, that will participate in um, moderated conversation. Um, the conversation, um, again, um, is going to be inquiry driven. And um, maybe to further explain what I mean, um, you here in the audience, um, are not supposed to uh, relax. Yeah? So when I came out here and uh, you gave me the little like golf clap thing, like this is like a tiddlywinks <laughs> tournament or something, you, you know, like, you know, um, that's unacceptable. Um, we are building our work based on energetic reciprocity. Um, our pedagogical cornerstone is based on the vitality of exchange. So, um, folks in the audience, you should know that being a member at YBCA doesn't mean that you get to be passive. Um, and it doesn't mean that you get to be witness only. Um, this is what you're doing here. Um, well, maybe before I go on, is anybody here a member of YBCA? Sweet! Everybody else should be too. <laughs> but more on that later. Um, so um, this is how the rest of the afternoon is going to proceed. Um, we're going to bring up over the course of the afternoon 10 different um, uh, folks. We call these folks instigators. Nine of them are members of the YBCA 100 and one is a distinguished guest from um, the exhibition that has um, celebrated four incredible months in our galleries, um, curated by one of our YBCA 100 honorees. Um, the the uh, the uh, exhibition is called Radical Presence, and I just have to shout out my girl Valerie Cassell Oliver because she's right there. See. Um, so what's going to happen is that each discussant or instigator is going to come up here for about five minutes. And they are going to present the questions that are fueling them right now. So um, uh, my boy Anthony might come up here and pose a question like, is it possible to think of the food economy as a renewable resource for urban cities? He might ask, um, how can the revenue generated by big ticket restaurants be used to subsidize healthy and delicious eating habits of low income city dwellers? Something like that. Um, each discussant um, may use about three or five slides to convey how they're attacking the question and each must submit that um, question um, to us or each did so um, that you'll be able to see them. So um, what happens after each of them presents their question, um, our moderator, and our first one I'll introduce in just a, mo uh, just a minute, our moderator will then invite you um, to take the questions that you've heard, turn to the folks in your area, like this crew of three right here, for instance, or that crew of two right there, or maybe this crew of four right here. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to break out for five minutes, and you're going to take one of the four questions that you've just heard and make it better. Does that make sense? So your gig here is to evolve whatever it is that the geniuses among us um, have to share. Is that clear? It'll become clear. Right, so that um, um, we'll give you about five minutes, take one of the four questions, you make it better, um, and then we'll ask for, um, you know, my man John Moscone and many others in the YBCA family will um, kind of walk among us and um, hear from you how you evolve the questions. And then we'll kick it back to our panelists and our moderator and our panelists will um, um, then discuss what you all have presented back to them. The idea ultimately is that this exchange of inquiry, this exchange, this way of framing and then reframing the inquiry that's inspiring us will ultimately lead to how YBCA programs and also will help to frame what our civic and cultural ambitions are moving forward. Make sense? More or less? 
Ready to get started? Um, you guys still aren't doing it. Ready to get started? <laughs>